friend of mine. <laughs> The Lion King. The movie was released in 1994 and was an instant classic. It also had an incredible cast behind the cartoony animals, like Darth Vader, Black Adder, Inspector Gadget, the baddie from Die Hard with a Vengeance, Guinan from Star Trek, Winnie the Pooh, and a bunch of others. Now, what do you do when you have an amazing movie for the family like this one? Why, you turn it into a video game, of course. And this one is loved and remembered by so many people that it actually got re-released on the consoles of today. But believe it or not, despite how much we all love this game and have such fond memories of it, there is in fact one slight problem with it. It's an unforgiving, sanity-killing, soul-destroying, evil son of a bitch! I'm serious, this game is damn hard. I know so many people that had it back in the day when they were kids, and they all loved it. But it doesn't make any bloody sense because no bugger ever finished it! It really is a vicious little shit! But did you know that there were other ports out there beside the Mega Drive and SNES ones? Like the Master System port! Now believe it or not, this game is very different from the beloved Mega Drive one. I mean the first level alone is a much bigger area with a lot more tricky jumps. There's still a Whoopi Goldberg hiding at the end of the level though. And there is even a bonus level after that. Whoever made this bit with Pumba clearly never watched the damn movie. You're expected to dodge the bugs. Yet in the damn film, that's all the fat pig eats. So this is stupid. The level after that is where things start to become more faithful to the Mega Drive one. So there you have it. It's a fun little game, but at the end of the day, it really is just an 8-bit version of the one we all love and remember. Albeit with a few small changes. But did you know that there's a Game Gear version? And here it is. As you can see that... Wait, what? The nerd layer already covered this one. So I would have to send him money for the rights to cover this game? Well, fuck that! Guess I ain't got to cover that one, then. If you would like to know more about the game, check out the Nerd Layers video on it. Click the link in the description. On the plus side, that means we can finally cut to the chase and get to the Mega Drive one. The one we have all those fond memories of. And monkeys! Those fucking monkeys! The warm feeling only Disney can provide. So many fucking monkeys! And the glorious feeling of 16-bit nostalgia. I hate this fucking monkeys! Here we go at last, and just like you would imagine, the game starts off with an easy level in the Pride Lands. There's chameleons, porcupines, and exploding bugs all over the place. And the collectibles and power-ups are shown as different coloured bugs that float in the air. Simba can run, he can jump, he can roll, and he can roar. The music here is just plain perfect. The use of colour is spot on. Everything happening on this level is all you could ever ask for in a Lion King game. And of course, like its SMS port, there's a Whoopi Goldberg for a boss. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. What about that shadowy place over there? Is the light touching it? Well, no. Then it ain't part of our fucking kingdom, is it? Now it's the bug toss, where unlike the Master System port, they actually get shit right, and Pumba eats the bugs. Then it's... THOSE FUCKING MONKEYS! In case you've never played this game before, let me just say this. I fucking hate these blue and purple dipshits! You get thrown all over the damn place, and if you're just a young little idiot like I was, then you'll be doing it forever trying to figure this shit out. But that ain't the only pain in the ass here. You gotta jump across swinging tails and hop along moving logs. But that ain't nothing compared to this high level crap. Trust me, it's harder than it looks. Especially when you get to the point where there's no arrows to guide you. And you gotta time the double jump 100% perfect.
When you manage to get through that mess of a level, you then get thrown into the graveyard, where straight away there's two level one bosses. There's a lot of tricky flooring around here where you can stack it and fall to your doom in an instant. But it's the fucking birds that screw me up the most. All in one though, that ain't the toughest thing in the game. It's this shit! Stop it! Oh my god, look how simple! Look out! Look out! Look out! Did you see that shit? This is the level I hate the most. I mean, it's the same damn pattern every time you play it. But for the love of Mufasa's left, bollock! I can never do it right. Oh, but my mate Comic Rob, him, yeah, he can do it on the first try. Cunt. There ain't much to say here except that I hate this fucking level. And we'll be stuck here eternally. Damn right I helped you finish that shit. Remember, mate. I fucking helped you. Fuck it, bitch. I'll piss off, Rob. Wait, what? Ah! Me and Comic Rob actually teamed up to beat this game, so in all honesty, I can say I have actually beaten the game before. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna cheat, just so that I can show you everything the game has to offer. In the options screen, press left A, A, B, start, and the cheat screen will appear. <laughs> Uh... Oh wait, shit, sorry. It's meant to be press right A, A, B, start, and then the cheat screen will appear. It gives level select and invincibility. Now, if you thought the last level had its difficulty whacked up to full, then be prepared to throw a brick at the TV. Because this damn level is a joke! Throughout this 16-bit test of patience, you will have rocks fall from above, and I swear to Lucifer that some of these buggers are timed perfectly to fuck up your day. There's a bunch of pits. There's some sadistically placed porcupines. And if the little rocks ain't annoying enough, then here's a few big fuckers to drive you all the way crazy. If you can somehow make it through that shit alive, or be a little bitch and cheat, I completed it once, that's enough. Don't judge me. Then next you'll find yourself dumped in a jungle. There's dickhead spiders, annoying water slides. Oh, and this fucking thing. You gotta jump on the logs and work your way to the top. Sounds simple, but it's actually a total pain in the ass. The logs drop too quick. They seem to have almost no pattern to them. And I can't even count how many times I've ended up swimming like a rock. But soon after that crap, we got to fight a pissed off gorilla. He throws fruit at you and tries to give you a backhander if you get too close. Once that's done, the game just goes, okay, fuck it, you're old now. Oh, okay, no cutscene. I don't think I accidentally skipped anything, so that's weird. Anyway, let me ask you something real quick. How has Simba killed things so far? He's jumped on him, hasn't he? Well, guess what? If you try that shit as an adult, then you're gonna get hurt. Now you gotta stand there and scratch them. Like anyone's gonna know that the first time playing this. And in case you weren't sick of monkeys already, then here's some bastards that throw rocks at you. Also, there are places where a ton of enemies just keep spawning. You gotta get in close and keep smashing the scratch button until this know-it-all dipshit appears and waves his magic stick. At the end of all that, we see Daddy as a cloud. You must take your place in the circle of life. He talks like the Elder God from Soul Reaver. This is the Wheel of Fate, the purifying cycle which sustains all life. Next, we find ourselves in a level that can be summed up in a very simple montage. After that joke of a murder fest, we find ourselves lost like fuck in a maze of caves. There's a specific order you have to enter each one, but you ain't gonna have a clue what it is, so all that's gonna happen is that you're gonna get slaughtered by hyenas until all your lives piss away and you end up doing this. That's right, I'm cheating again. 
I have bloody completed it before and I don't give a shit if I ever do it again. Now we are on the final level. And aside from some bullshit platforming, we gotta kill Scar. You gotta beat the crap out of him more than once, but that ain't what's truly bullshit about it. You see, me and my mate Rob, we try to complete this game properly, without any cheats or anything like that. And we got all the way to the final boss. And we fucked away nearly every single life and continue. And here's why. You gotta throw the prick, but only when he's panting. Otherwise he will destroy you. And to throw him, you gotta press B and C, but you gotta do it perfect. Or as we soon found out, you can just press X, Y or Z if using the six button controller. It was so much easier to kill the cunt all because we changed the fucking controller. I mean, the free button one was absolutely fine up to the final boss, but then all of a sudden I gotta do some B and C shit in perfect timing and all that. Well, nah, give me a fucking six button one. Anyway, we throw the prick off the cliff and save the kingdom from tyranny. So there you have it. That was Lion King on the Mega Drive. We all love it. But let's face it, we all hate it as well. What did you think, Simba? I'm dead inside. Today's episode was sponsored by Roars.